right now I actually woke up pretty early this morning if you guys saw my last video oh, the scene just popped up but if you guys saw my last video then it would have been my morning routine I think and yeah that's my routine like I wake up early I do my thing and I get ready for the day but I already showered got dressed kind of half got ready I haven't done my hair yet though it's kind of Still just air drying but I decided that I wanted to make myself some breakfast so I'm here making myself the usual avocado on toast with two poached eggs and I do have some leftover shredded ham still it's like the last of some ham that I have left so I'm just gonna use that I need to come up with like some new breakfast recipes because I keep making this and I love it, but I feel like you guys may be getting sick of it. But I'm just currently mashing up the avocado on my board and I'm waiting for the water to boil, which I actually need to put some vinegar. So the plan for today is to run some errands. It's an errand day for me. I have to go to the post office, I have to pick up some packages and I think I need to do a little bit of grocery shopping. I feel like every single time I vlog, you guys are seeing some type of grocery haul and it's not like I'm grocery shopping all the time I just realized that I've like run out of bread so I need to go and buy some more bread these are my last two slices of bread but yeah that is the plan for today is to run my errands and then I have to finish editing a video that I was working on I started editing a video last night which was my clean with me video and I think I have like a few hours of footage and I edited it all in one night, which is pretty like unusual for me. Usually I don't sit there for that long, but I just need to finish that up. But yeah, that is what the plan is for today, is to get my errands done, finish editing a video. I also have a couple of other things that I need to do on my computer as well. But I figured that I would vlog today because it is the first day in a week and a half that we have had sunshine every single day for the past... I think maybe nearly two weeks it has been very either overcast raining downpour of rain like just crazy it's just been raining a lot there's been a lot of flood warnings a lot of rain happening and today is the first day that it's actually sunny outside so i did a load of laundry this morning which i'm going to hang out and yeah it's just a really nice sunny day today so i wanted to get out of the house get some errands run and take you guys along with me so for the time being i'm going to continue making my breakfast i'm just going to quickly make myself an iced coffee i've still been loving these ones from avalanche they're 99 percent sugar-free caramel lattes i really like them so i usually just put that in a cup which by the way do you guys like my new cups i got these i think a month ago and they're like if you can tell it's like a like coke can like a beer can kind of glass which is cool i thought it looked really nice i thought it was really cute so i got a couple of those but this is what i like to use for my iced coffees lately but back onto what i was saying yeah i just put that in there and then and then i fill it up with just a little bit of hot water just enough to obviously dissolve the mixture also i'm pretty sure this is not dairy free i think like i i think the milk in this it must have like powdered milk in it, but I don't think it's dairy free. I don't know. If anybody knows, let me know. But I've still been putting a little bit of milk into it as well. But before I do that, I need to get cold water and ice. So I do like half cold water and then a handful of ice as well. And then for the rest of the way, I'll just put some of this milk. This is the almond milk that I showed in my grocery haul a little while ago. I think that's the last of it. It's kind of overflowing. But that's my iced coffee. Doesn't it look cute? Oh my gosh. And the little glass too. I think it looks super cute. I probably put a little bit too much milk, but I was trying to use like the rest of whatever was in here. 
But that is breakfast done. I'm gonna take this to the living room and eat. I just realized that my hair is all nice and dry. I'll probably fix it up and do a little bit of a blowout kind of thing later with that tool that I have. But anyways, for breakfast, breakfast is served you guys have already seen this i feel like if you follow me on instagram you see this like almost every single day avocado on toast with eggs but because i had cherry tomatoes and some shredded ham i decided to fry that up a little bit and add that as well so yeah this is like my favorite breakfast i swear avocados on toast i know some people don't like it but for me i i love it and i love poached eggs as well so Got my iced coffee as well, which I should probably mix this and drink some of it before it overflows. I can't even mix it probably because my skin is gonna spill. Eee, it's already spilling on one side. Before I forget, cheers. Okay, good. Also, I wanna know how do you guys like your eggs? Like I said, I like mine poached and I like them. Let me show you guys. I do like them to be runny so that when you cut into it, Oh, I should have cut it the other way. Fail. <laughs> but as I was saying, when you cut into it, it just spills everywhere. I like that. I know some people hate eggs and some people even hate runny eggs like this. But for me, I just love it. It's so good. So how do you guys like your eggs? I either like them poached or scrambled. But anyways, I'm going to get to eating now. I think it's just after nine. I'm kind of just watching a little bit of the morning news to kind of see what's happening in the world. Like I said, today is the first day that it hasn't rained. And all I'm seeing on the news right now is like the aftermath of flood coverage. There's a lot of people who are stuck in areas that are unclosed in by floodwaters. So I just hope that everybody is staying safe and taking care because it looks pretty scary. Like there's some towns and suburbs and houses and whatnot, businesses that are all underwater. So yeah, I hope everybody is staying safe. I'm just kind of catching up on the news with that. But for now, I'm going to eat my breakfast and I'll catch up with you guys later. So I just finished getting ready. I fixed my hair and dried it, gave myself a bit of a blowout. But it just always does this thing where it flicks out at the bottom. I don't style it that way, I promise. It just naturally does that. My hair naturally has a bit of a kink to it, a bit of a wave. I'm sure if I let my hair do its thing naturally, I could get my natural curl pattern back. But because I've just been doing things to my hair for the longest time I feel like whatever natural texture I had in my hair is completely gone at this point but it still does do its own thing and kind of wave up from time to time so I think that's the reason why it kind of kinks up and waves at the bottom or it could just be because my hair's at that length where it hits my shoulders but yeah I finished getting ready did my hair and I already had my outfit on I was gonna say put my outfit on but I was already changed but let me show you guys my outfit of the day today so this is today's OOTD I wasn't sure what to wear I feel like for the past week because it's been raining I was wearing nothing but like hoodies sweats leggings that kind of thing I was on that like cozy outfit type of vibe but since today it is 31 degrees Celsius that is I think that's about 80 something Fahrenheit even though we are in autumn officially now I don't know why today is just sprung out of nowhere and has said that it's gonna be a very hot and humid day so it is a little bit humid at the moment but it's kind of overcast so I decided to wear these jeans I think these are jeans they're not like Actually, yeah, they are jeans, but these are the pants that I got from Glassons. I think I showed you guys a little like mini haul of pieces that I'd bought for myself when I went out and I'd ordered these in store because they didn't have my size in store. So I had to order them in store and get them delivered to my house, if that makes sense. But these are the pants. I think they're so cute. I love them. They're so flowy. They're wide leg. Um, very high-waisted really comfortable but yeah if you guys are wondering these are from Glassons actually my whole outfit is from Glassons today I think the length is pretty good I don't need to cut them or anything which is great and this top you guys have seen this top before this is just one of the baby crop tees from Glassons in the color tan or something like that and then for shoes today I was gonna wear my Yeezy slides just because they actually match this outfit really nicely but I decided to put on these shoes, just some Air Max 95s, so yeah, that is my outfit of the day today. And then for accessories, I'm just wearing my usual hoops that I always wear from Kmart. They're only $4, guys, $4, and I love them. 
And then this necklace that Alan got me from Essa and Co. What's today's one? I have two of them. So this one is the This Too Shall Pass, which is one of the affirmation necklaces. But yes, that is today's outfit of the day. So, oh, also my lip combo for today. I wanted to show you guys. So for my lip combo today, I went with my usual lip liner that I love. I have a lot of different lip liners, but I always tend to gravitate back towards this one. This is the Rimmel London 1000 Kisses Lip Liner in Cappuccino. I use it so much that all of the markings that actually tell me what it is are all one off, but I know what it is because I use it almost every single day. So yeah, lip liner from Rimmel in Cappuccino. And then for lip color, I went with the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in let's cuddle which i really like but for me personally i can't wear liquid lipsticks just on their own i always want to have something over top so over top i went with honey i'm home from dose of colors as well so we have the liquid lipstick in let's cuddle and then the lip gloss in honey i'm home and yeah i just really like that nude combo that i came up with today i feel like i was looking through my collection of nude lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and lip glosses and stuff and they're all of very similar tones but i just like trying out different combinations and seeing like what lip liners go with what lip gloss or lipstick or liquid lipstick i don't know i just like coming up with different combinations even though it always like ends up looking pretty similar on when i put it on i feel like you guys probably can't even tell the difference but I just thought I would share with you anyway. So yeah, uh, right now it is about to be 10. So I think I'm going to head out. First things first, I think I need to go to the post office to go and collect a parcel. And then I want to go and run a few errands. And I realized, I was looking through my planner last night and I realized that I had one of these. It's a... What do you call this? Like a... Um, I guess you could call it a voucher. So what had happened was I went to Starbucks... A while ago like a couple weeks ago and I was waiting for my drink and a bagel and I got my drink everything was fine but I was standing there waiting for my bagel and I'm just the type of person where I, I don't really want to be too quick to ask like hey where's my stuff I was waiting for only five minutes it honestly wasn't a bother to me and I could see that they were busy so I was like I'll just wait like a little bit longer and then the girl who was making the coffees the barista she was looking at me she was like are you waiting like for food or something and I was like yeah she was like oh my goodness I'm so sorry we forgot about your order she's like it won't be much longer and I was like that's totally fine as I said I'd only been waiting there for five minutes and then when she came back she brought me my bagel and she also gave me this voucher which says that I can have a free drink on the back it says sometimes things don't always go to plan but we promise to do everything we can to make it right the next time you stop by please enjoy any beverage of your choice on us here's to second chances more smiles and making your day a little bit brighter and i was like i even said to her i was like no it's okay like it, it's totally fine she's like no please take it so yeah I'll, I'll see if i can get a starbucks drink while i'm out today but that is the plan go and go to the post office run my errands probably swing by the grocery store as well because i need to get some things for dinner and other bits and pieces but Yes, we shall see what we get up to today. So let's go. I can't wait. Don't want to spend a minute without you. I know you feel the same. So come on, give me love. I'm going to show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me want to say. Damn. I hope you guys can see me properly, but I just collected my parcel, which is actually something that I ordered. So I will open this when I get home but for the time being it is such a windy day today you guys but it is so warm the breeze it's not even a breeze it's actually like full-on wind like as I was walking back to my car I felt the wind pushing me <laughs> it's just super windy like I felt like my hair was like this as I was walking but um yeah right now I'm gonna go head over to the mall I need to go and pick up a few things and run some errands so we're gonna do that for the time being and I'll catch up with you guys later. I know I'm yours, baby. So come give me love. You know you're my baby. So come give me love. I never felt nothing quite like this. I get a high every time we kiss. Can't get enough, baby. So come give me love. All of your love, I can't fake it. When I'm with you, my 
legs go weak, hey, can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped a beat. As you guys can see, I am back. I really only just needed to come here to get what I needed and then leave. I wasn't trying to like spend too much time in the mall browsing around or whatever, but I did end up getting myself the Starbucks drink for free because of that little voucher, which is pretty cool. It was funny because when I went to order the drink, she straight away was like, I want to give you a venti, but we don't have any more venti iced cups, so I can put it in like a regular cup if you want. And I was like, oh, it's okay. I don't really need a venti. I'll just get a grande. So I ended up getting a grande iced, let me think about the name, an iced salted caramel cloud macchiato. Salty Caramel Cloud Macchiato. I think that's what it is, yeah. I feel like they could have filled it up a little bit more, but I'm not complaining because it was free. So let's give this a quick little taste test before I head home. I like caramel macchiatos, but I don't usually get them iced. I usually get them hot, so we'll see how this one tastes. It's supposed to be salted, and I don't know what makes it like cloud because it said caramel salted caramel cloud i don't know what the cloud is like is it foam or something i should have read what the menu was but i didn't i just saw it and i picked it so let's see how this tastes oh cheers <laughs> mm, that's really sweet though like super sweet i need to mix it up more i really like it i really like it i feel like i already drunk half of it but it's like it's super sweet. I don't know what's in this. I should have read it properly. It tastes like hazelnut, but I'm pretty sure there's no hazelnut. It's probably just like salty caramel drizzle or something. But it tastes pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the fact that I got it for free. I'm not complaining. But yeah, I ended up getting groceries, the things that I needed to pick up, amongst some other things. So I'll show you guys all of that when I get home. But I'm going to drive now. It honestly looks like it's about to storm. The sky is actually getting dark again, so I am praying, fingers crossed, that there's no more rain. But for the time being, I'm gonna head home and I'll catch up with you guys there. All right, you guys, I just got home. As you can see, I bought my groceries in. I still have a little bit of my coffee left to finish. I like it, the, what was it again? Iced salted caramel cloud macchiato. If anybody knows why it's called a cloud, like what is the cloud? Because I didn't get to read the menu properly on what the cloud is. Is it the foam? Is it the caramel drizzle? Like, I don't even know. I don't even know what I really ordered, but I mean, it tastes good. To be honest, this is going to be a bit of an unpopular opinion, but I feel like Starbucks coffees in terms of their coffee beans, like the actual coffee itself, I'm not talking about the drinks as a whole, but the coffee, I don't think it's the best coffee that I've ever tried. And I know some people are going to be like, don't come for Starbucks like that, but I know for a fact it just isn't like the strongest, best coffee bean that I've had. I don't know. That's how I feel about it anyway. But I mean like their drinks are really tasty. They're, they're really sweet, which I love sweet stuff. But the coffee itself, I don't know if it really does anything for me in terms of like caffeine wise. But anyways, let's get into the mini grocery haul. I didn't get much today. so. I just got myself some more bread. I sometimes get this brand. These are the Abbott's Village Bakery sandwich thins. They're light rye ones. I like these ones the best from this brand, the rye ones. I usually get the other brand, which I don't even remember what brand that is, but I couldn't find any in the store that I was in, so I just picked up these. I also just got myself a big bag of Caesar salad because I'm probably just gonna have this for dinner this evening. And then I got myself some more of the Fit, Giovanni Fit, Protein, no added sugar, Greek yogurt. Is it Greek yogurt? Yeah, of course, it is Greek yogurt. But yeah, these are the ones that I usually get. So I got two more of those because I already finished the other ones. I also got some more Harvest Snaps, the baked pea crisps, which these are just the original ones, like the original salted flavor, but these ones are really good as well. I like these. Somebody commented on my last video and said that they got the salt to vinegar ones because of my recommendation and they really like them so yes i really like those too they honestly didn't have any more flavors and stuff they didn't have any seaweed any salt and vinegar any wasabi which i didn't mention last time but i also really like their wasabi flavored ones so these were the only flavor that they had so i just picked these up but i really like these too i got some more kombucha as well these are the strawberry peach flavor from nexpa i really like these it, they're actually quite tasty and they're very low in calories like one bottle is only six calories which 
I don't know how that works. But yeah, there's no sugar in them. But to be honest, I just like the taste. I think they're really tasty. And like I said, this flavor is strawberry peach, which I don't think I've tried the strawberry peach from this brand. So I picked up a pack of those. And then last but not least, I got myself some Bisco cookies or biscuits you guys i don't think many people know or realize that coles if you're from australia if you're a fellow aussie coles sells biscoff biscuits which they have this spread as well which i've actually never bought the spread but i always get the cookies and these are only like i think it's like less than two dollars like a dollar fifty for a pack so sometimes i will stock up and buy more but today i was like just one just one is all you need. So yeah, I really like these. You guys know how I feel about Biscoff. If you watched my last vlog where I was raving on about the Biscoff Krispy Kreme donuts, which again, if you haven't tried those, you really should go out and get them. But yeah, that is my grocery haul for today. I'll also show you guys what else I got while I was kind of quickly wandering around. So I went to Priceline because they were actually having 50% off all cosmetics, which I didn't buy any makeup because I personally don't need any more makeup and I didn't need to stock up on anything but I did go to the Sally Hansen section and I bought two things I got the gel polish base which if you guys know I do my own I said this many times but if you're new here I do my own nails manicures and pedicures I like doing them and I actually did my nails again the other night so this is the current color that I have on them which I really like it's like a I don't know how to describe it. It's like a pastel. It's not pink though. I don't know. Alan and I were trying to think about what the color was. He picked this color. But I was running out of my gel polish base. So I had to stock up on that. Like I said, everything was 50% off. And then I also got this Problem Cuticle Remover. Which I don't think I've ever really tried this before. It says it is a cuticle remover infused with aloe to help soften and remove cuticles. So usually I just like push my back but I don't ever really remove them I kind of just like scrape them out of the way which I know is not the best but I'm gonna try this out next time I do my nails and we shall see how that works for me but yes that is everything that I got for today just a little bit of a mini grocery haul for you guys I actually do also have my package that I collected as well so I'm gonna put all these groceries away and take that upstairs and I'll probably open that up because I ordered some things and I want to see if they suit me. So I'll be back. I was putting my groceries away and I realized that I wanted to show you guys something that's completely random, but it has been a very helpful life hack for me and I wanted to share it with you guys. So these reusable bags, right? If you're a fellow Aussie, you already know what these are about. I know Australia can't be the only place that does this, but we don't have single-use plastic bags as far as i know well in my state where i live queensland our state banned the use of single-use plastic bags i think a few years ago now so if you go to the grocery store and you buy groceries you can either bring reusable bags which is what i usually do or if you don't have any or if you forgot or whatever you can buy these recycled like reusable plastic bags so usually i like to keep these I keep them in a box here and I have a special way of folding them because there was a point where I didn't have recyclable sorry not recyclable there was a point where I didn't have any reusable bags usually I keep them in my car but on the odd occasion that I do forget I'll just buy one of these bags I think they're like 15 cents each so there was a point where I had so many in here and they weren't fitting in place and I saw this hack on TikTok of all places I swear I'd be learning everything on TikTok so I'm going to show you guys how I fold my plastic bags to maximize space and I just feel like it looks a lot more organized as well. So I start by flattening out my plastic bag, making sure it's all nice and smoothed out and then I take it in thirds so I'll fold it in to the handle here and then fold in the other side to the handle as well so it's like folded into thirds. And then I'll do thirds again so fold it up from the bottom into thirds. So it gets to the top and then it's like a little square right so then i take the corner on the bottom and i fold it up and then i take this corner on the bottom and then i fold it up and it makes a little triangle and then all you have to do is take the handle and put it over the top and then we have it like it's just compact it stays in place it's easy to store like if you wanted to be extra with it and put them in a drawer and like 
stack them and line them up and have them all organized you could do that as well but yeah i thought i would just share that little plastic bag folding hack i'm so weird i feel like i'm being so passionate about something as insignificant as folding plastic bags but it's the little things you guys it's the little things that get me excited and if you know me personally then you would know i'm really big on organization and keeping things clean so yeah it just makes it a lot easier i mean i have other bags in here that i haven't folded but these cold ones especially they fold really nicely and i like that so i thought i would share that with you guys but yeah i'm gonna head upstairs now we're going to open that parcel that I got and I'll show you guys everything that I got in that. Alright, so I have on my package here. This is actually a bunch of stuff that I ordered from Cotton On. I think I ordered this maybe like mid last week and it already arrived today, which I wasn't expecting. And I made an order because they were having 30% off the entire website and I just kind of wanted to get a few pieces like for the upcoming cooler weather. This is like, this was in the midst of when it was raining every single day. So I was in that like cozy vibes mindset, which is why everything in here is like more winter wear. Even though I'm sweating right now, if you guys can't tell, it's really hot today, very humid. But um, yeah, I think I got four things. Yeah, four things. Okay, so we're gonna open these up together on camera. I haven't looked at anything yet, so let's see what I got. All right, so first thing I got were these gym track pant yeah gym track pant which i wanted to actually get a set because i just feel like sets are so good for like the autumn and winter time especially in this season no one's really dressing up but i feel like a set kind of makes you look like you put in more effort even though you didn't really have to think too much about what you're putting together if that makes sense so i wanted to get a set and i figured that an all black one would be okay so this is what they look like should i stand up maybe i should stand up yeah so they're just like regular track pants but not like sweatpants where they're really baggy and full these kind of slim and taper down towards the ankles which i like but i chose these because i liked how thick the waistband was on them as well so yeah these as i said are the gym track pants and i mean they're not too thick but they're not like thin to the point where you feel like you're not covered up because where i live i feel like it doesn't really get too cold over here where i would need something that's super thick so i wasn't too phased about getting something like this they feel pretty lightweight which is good so yeah i'm excited to wear these in the winter time they feel really cozy though but to match that I did get a hoodie, which I already have a lot of hoodies, I'll admit, but I don't have a black one, like a plain black one, so I figured that I would get this to go with the track pants and, you know, just a plain old black hoodie, nothing too special about it. Is there a specific name for this? Okay, it's just called the classic hoodie in black. <laughs> so yeah, this is the hoodie. I like that it has this little kangaroo pouch pocket as well. I love hoodies that have pockets at the front here. But again, I just wanted to have like a set that would match. There were like other colors that I wanted to get as a set, but it's hard to tell online sometimes. You know how you might be ordering things online and you're like, okay, this color goes with this color. But then when you get it, it's like slightly off because they weren't meant to be a set, but they look like they were the same color. If that makes sense, that's happened to me so many times where I've bought things thinking that they would go together as a set but then when I get them they don't actually look the same they look a little bit off in color so yeah I figured black was like the safest bet and yeah they look the same so we're good with that and then I did get another pair of those gym track pants but I got it in this really pretty like nude color which let me open this Oh, these are so nice. I love... You guys already know, if you've been with me for a minute, you know I'm all about my nude neutral kind of tones and shades. So they're basically just the same thing. Like the black ones, but in a different color. And I think this is cute. Like even... Oh yeah, even like with this top, that looks cute. I mean, it's virtually the same color as my pants right now. But I don't know, I just wanted like some chill easy like like casual type of wear so these again are the lifestyle gym track pants in the color buttermilk 
I really like that color. So I actually would have loved to get a matching hoodie with this as well, but I couldn't find any on the website. So yeah, I just realized it has pockets too, which is always really good as well. So yeah, I really like this. I think this would even look cute with like just a plain white crop tee. You know what I mean? So again, I just wanted to get some like staple pieces that I could like mix and match into other outfits for the winter time. And then I got myself a pair of shoes or rather sandals, I should say, just because I've been looking for a pair like these for a while. And I had seen these in store, but they didn't have my size. And it was just so lucky that they were having a 30% off sale on the website. So I figured it was the best time to buy them. And I know these aren't everybody's cup of tea and some people may not like them, but I really like them. So these are the sandals here. They are called the Combat Slide in black. And I love the platform on them. So yeah, I really like these. They're so cute. I know not everybody's going to like them, but I think they're super cute. Actually, I'm going to try them on right now. Oh, can you guys see that? I think they're cute. I like them. Don't mind the tag. I haven't cut it off yet, but I think they're super cute. They're actually really comfy too. They're really squishy. At least they feel squishy. Maybe it's my carpet. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I like them. I feel like it even goes with this outfit. And again, I love the platform. It gives me like a little bit of height. Yeah, I'm excited to wear these. I really like them. <laughs> so again, these are the Combat Slide. I was super excited that I found them. And they're just super cute. I really like them. I'm so excited. But yes, that is everything that I got from my little cotton on haul. What I'm going to do now actually is FaceTime Alan. Usually whenever I like have a haul or something, I like to FaceTime him and show him what I got. And just show him like my outfit choices and how I put things together. He's really good when it comes to putting together outfits and like picking what goes with what so i actually usually go to him when it comes to advice on like do you think this looks good do you think this works with this he's really good with that stuff if you guys don't know alan actually is a fashion designer by trade so that's why i always go to him when it comes to me wanting to make sure if anything looks good but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and facetime him now see what he's up to and i'll catch up with you guys later it's quite some time later and i randomly decided that i wanted to bake myself some brownies so I'm actually just going to be using this really quick and easy little box mix of brownies. These are the Betty Crocker triple chocolate brownie mix, which I love these. They're actually really good. I was walking past, what bakery was it? I was walking past Mrs. Fields while I was at the mall today and I saw their brownies and it was like $7 a slice. So I remember telling myself like, nah, I'm going to make a whole batch at home. So yeah, I had this. I think I bought these. Probably just before Valentine's Day. I bought them for the occasion of Valentine's Day because Alan and I were doing date night. So I bought these and I told myself I was going to make them, but I never did. But it's really easy. All you need are two eggs and 125 grams of butter, which is supposed to be one cup of butter, I think. Honestly, this brownie mix is like one of my favorites. I've been having them for years. I don't usually have them much anymore if you guys have watched any of my other videos and you know typically i do try to eat like as healthy as i can but every now and then i think it's good to have a treat it's important to treat yourself and if you want to have brownies have brownies like there's nothing wrong with that so that is the mix in there there's white chocolate and regular like milk chocolate as well so i have my two eggs to put in but when i was looking at how big a cup is like this is half a cup right that's a lot so let me just google really quickly how much is 125 grams of butter oh okay it says half a cup lucky i checked that i don't know where i got one cup from did i say one cup before i can't even remember but okay half a cup it is so let me get a knife actually it's supposed to be melted as well so let's just go in feel like it's a lot but that's what makes it taste good also the butter that i use is this i think you say it nutellex it's supposed to be like a healthier alternative to butter so this is 75 percent less saturated fat than regular butter so that's the butter that i usually use not that i ever really use butter that much sometimes i have it like on toast but luckily i had this in my fridge so that i could use it for this so okay 
That looks like a lot, doesn't it? But I'm gonna put this into a bowl and then actually it's pretty soft already. Does it have to be fully melted? Yeah, okay, it says melted. I'll put it in the microwave to let it like melt down so it's more like runny. There's a butter there, so I'm gonna throw that in the microwave for like half a minute. I think that should be okay. So I'm gonna pour this into the mix. And then we've got our eggs as well. There's one and two. I don't know why it took me so long to make this because it literally only takes five minutes to throw together. And I think it takes about like 25 to 30 minutes to cook. So I think that's mixed in pretty nicely. I'm gonna line my baking tray now and pour this in. I just sprayed some avocado oil in the bottom just to help the baking paper stay in place and stick. And then all I have to do is pour this in and then put it in the oven. I'm telling you guys, if you can get these brownies, the Betty Crocker triple chocolate, is it? Yeah, triple chocolate brownie mix. Go and get it. It's so good. <laughs> it definitely is my treat. All right, so there we have it. That is the brownie mix all ready to go. That looks so good already, but I'm gonna put it in the oven. So that's gonna stay in there for 25, 30-ish minutes but I'm gonna clean everything up for the time being and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so the brownies are done. They've been in here for a little over 25 minutes, so I think it looks pretty good. I didn't want it to get too hard, but I don't want it to be too soft. I like it like a nice in-between. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this through the camera right now, but I'm gonna take this out and let it cool down a little. It smells so good, you guys. Okay, so this is how it looks. It smells so good. As I said before, I wish you guys could smell this right now, but I already went ahead and cut it up. So let's do a little bit of a taste test. So I personally really like any edge pieces, but I love starting with the corner edge piece. Here I am giving you like a tutorial on how to eat brownies, but yeah, I really like corner edge pieces because you get like a little bit of the metal, but you get like the crispy edge. So let me pick that up. Also, can I just say before I do this quick little taste test, my lipstick, as you guys can see. Sorry, I just got really close. But I feel like those combination of products have lasted really long. I have not touched my lips up once today. And as you can see, like it's still there. The color looks nice and even. I mean, it's worn away like a little bit, but... For the most part, I feel like it still looks really good. So, choice of colors, you guys. Go and check it out. Not sponsored, obviously, but I just feel like those products have lasted really well. And I really like the color and the formula, all that stuff. But back to what I was saying. Here is a corner piece. And I've already had these before, so I already know what it's like. But let me just break it open. Oh my gosh, do you guys see that? White chocolate bits and milk chocolate bits. I really like the white chocolate bits, so. Mmm. So good. And they taste so good when it's fresh. Like when it's freshly out of the oven and still a little bit warm. Mmm. 10 on 10. Chef's kiss. Love it. I probably could have taken these out a little bit sooner. So they could be like a little bit more moist on the inside but regardless it still tastes good so that's my brownies Betty Crocker's triple chocolate brownie mix go and check it out these with ice cream as well it's really good but I personally don't really eat much ice cream so I like to just have them on their own but I'm gonna enjoy my brownies now and I will check in with you guys later okay so I'm a bad vlogger because I completely forgot that I was vlogging today it is now 7 just after 7 p.m and I forgot that I was vlogging. So I, I realized as I was editing this video, I think I just got too caught up with editing and then I was like, I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something today. And then I remembered, oh yeah, I was supposed to be vlogging. So I think the last thing you guys saw was me having the brownies. Since then, I've done a bit of admin work, replied to emails, done some editing. I've actually spent a lot of time editing. I even had dinner. <laughs> And then I came back to editing and that's when I realized that I was supposed to be vlogging. Also, by the way, I just realized that you guys can see I'm wearing my, what do I call this? 
it's not a back brace it's like a posture trainer i actually recently picked it up from kmart and it's helping a lot so yeah i think it was only like maybe 10 or 12 dollars super inexpensive and it's basically like if you guys can see i know it looks kind of funny but it's basically like think of like a backpack like a proper backpack actually let me just take it off and show you really quick okay so as i was saying think of it as like a backpack and it's pretty much as the name suggests training you to have a good posture so this is how it looks this kind of middle part here sits obviously on your back like in the middle of your spine and then you just put it on like a backpack it has adjustable straps if i can get one of them undone it has adjustable straps so that you can tighten it up as much as you need i actually have to wear mine pretty tight because i'm quite petite so in order to have it at like a good tension so that if i do slouch down it actually tugs and i feel it I need to have it pretty tight but it's super adjustable the strap is very long so yeah if you guys want to check it out for my fellow Aussies came up pretty inexpensive and I feel like it's like I said I feel like it's working it's pretty effective I actually was on TikTok the other day I swear everything's like I learned this on TikTok I saw this on TikTok I swear you guys I don't spend as much time on TikTok as I say you do but I was on TikTok and I actually saw a girl, she posted her one month progress wearing a posture trainer and the results were crazy. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to wear mine more regularly. So the fact that I sit a lot and I'm always on my computer, I feel like wearing that really does encourage me to have proper posture as I'm sitting down because best believe I'd be like this as I'm like editing and it's not very good. So. It encourages me to sit up straight and yeah i just feel like i need to fix my posture anyway i have a bad back as it is so that is the story behind the little backpack that I looked like i was wearing it's not a backpack it's a posture trainer but um yeah like i said i totally forgot that i was supposed to be vlogging today it's just after seven at the moment and i've already done most of the things i want to do for the evening had my dinner cleaned up all that and yeah i've just been sitting here editing so yeah that's about as exciting as my evening has gotten so far i actually still need to fold and put away my laundry it's sitting on my bed also that just reminds me i wanted to show you guys something which i don't think this is like a new thing but it's new for me because i recently did it okay so we have here exhibit a my bedside table right i have my charges i actually have two charges next to my bedside table which is probably a bit excessive but i used to have so many more cables like on the floor here and i recently i hope you guys can see this properly but i recently decided to stick my power board to the back of my bedside table and it makes the biggest difference i probably could tidy this up a little bit more to make everything kind of sit a little tighter but it makes the biggest difference when it comes to organizing cables and whatnot. I mean, with my charging cables, it's kind of inevitable that they're going to be flying around. But in terms of keeping everything out of the way, because I used to have this charging board kind of just like hanging about, chilling on the floor there. Kind of would kick it underneath my bed every now and then to get it out of the way. But this is so much better. So I actually stuck this down with let me show you guys okay so this is actually the last of it i use this double-sided tape but it's kind of foamy right so there's a little bit of give to it and it's actually really easy to peel off and come off should you want to take it off your furniture i wasn't too phased about sticking it onto the back of my bedside table you guys already know the deal peel it off stick it to the back of the power board and then stick the power board to whatever piece of furniture it is that you want to stick it to and it's amazing. I don't know if you guys can hear it right now, but it sounds like one of my neighbors is playing a saxophone, which I've never heard before, so it kind of caught me off guard. I figured that I may as well do comment of the day right now, which comment of the day today, I have it pulled up in front of me if I'm looking down, but comment of the day is going to Nona Vlog. I think that's how you pronounce your name. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm really sorry if I pronounce anybody's name wrong, but Nona vlog you left me a number of comments on one of my previous videos so thank you for that but i also just wanted to say that she does have a youtube channel so if you guys want to go and check it out i'm going to leave the link for her channel down below i actually discovered her channel because she had commented on mine during vlogmas and she had said that she filmed a what was it a 
trying Starbucks Christmas drinks. So yeah, if you guys want to go and check out her channel, I'll leave the link for that down below. But thank you for saying that you love my videos. I really appreciate it. And I always like seeing you pop up in my comments as well. And she also recommended that I should watch Peaky Blinders. So I checked out the trailer for that and it looks pretty interesting. I actually wanted to update you guys because I did end up watching or finding a series to watch and I watched the whole thing within, within a few days, I think. Yeah. So I think over the weekend, Alan and I started watching The One on Netflix, if you guys haven't heard of it. It is such a strange show. Like I watched the first episode and it was interesting, but I was kind of like, I don't know if I like this, but I kept watching it and we ended up watching all of the episodes within a few days. So it's pretty interesting. And if anybody else has seen that series, let me know what you think of it. But as I said, go and check out her channel. I'm going to leave it in the description box. And with that being said, I'm going to end off today's vlog as well so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you for spending part of your day with me if you did enjoy it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed consider subscribing by hitting the little red button down below with that being said i hope you guys are staying safe looking after yourselves and looking out for each other i will talk to you guys in the comments and i shall see you all in my next video